Hello everyone, this is DTEC again from the Samurai Aquatic Store and going back to our weird looking bench. So, uh, in this, in this uh, video I'd like to save the file for the three LODs and maybe add some texture to it. So, I have prepared some textures here which I want to uh, place. So, first I have to make the actual textures so I'll make one called dark wood dark wood and make it dark dark brown like this and oh the whole bench should go dark now remember that roughness has to be at one for everything for upland so now I can select uh, select all these. I'm holding Shift and Alt to select uh, long. Uh, if I just hold Shift, it'll select one piece at a time. Oh my God! So. everything selected before I proceed select it okay so I'm basically just selecting in my own <laughs> weird way everything that I want to turn into light wood and here I'm just holding shift uh, to select and uh, deselect things. Okay, so now we can make another. Oh, done. Uh, we're, oh, there's more. So we're going to make another material once we're finished. And we're going to make it called light wood. Oh, there's actually <laughs> more on this side. Perfect. Okay, so here we go. We make another material, and we're in the world. This icon at the end, the the orange circle. We click it, and we call it light wood, light wood, and assign it, and make it later. There. And again, don't forget, roughness should be at one. So this is our bench now. Now we want to add materials. So we go to shading tab and we start adding our materials. So for this one, I put the light wood and connect it. And as you can see, it's all over the place. It's very weird. Now we're going to, I'm going to do the same thing for the dark wood. And now what I would want to do is select everything by pressing A. Then I right click and go to UV Unwrap Faces, Smart Unwrap Project. And maybe add a little margin, maybe 0 0.02, like that. So it's not the perfect, <laughs> as I realize it's not a perfect, um, texture as it has creases maybe I'll really quickly substitute it with a different one just a second I had one somewhere um, boom. never mind I'll do it later okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a few things here to make to make it easier so you want to go add and click mapping type in mapping and add mapping and you're going to connect the vector part to vector. And now we want to add uh, coordinate coordinates, texture coordinates. And we'll place it here and we connect the UV tab to the upper tab of the mapping. So now what you can do is you can change things here like scale. You put two and two. And it's much uh, 
smaller scale or four and four and there your wood is like this and and you can always rotate it as well so if you put 90 degrees for Z it'll start going upwards like that which is kind of weird because in some cases like this and like this you have to actually go to your UV map and change it later but let's say uh, it was a different <laughs> texture and everything was perfect and you like it now we can go to layout and I would save this and I'm gonna make three blender files so this one is 1200 triangles and for LOD 2 it's perfect so we're gonna save it as bench underscore LOD 2 and now I'm gonna save it as LOD 1 as well and for this one I'm going to need to add uh, let me see I'm going to need to add at least 300 triangles so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take with the while holding uh, alt and then alt shift I'm gonna select all the cr uh, edges of the wood and I'm going to bevel them to give them like a softer edge to it and this one maybe we'll do a little later so actually I'll do I'll do all these a little later because they, they're bigger so now we go to bevel and what it does is it makes the wood crease like that and that added hundred hundred so we can go make two segments and there you go it's 1400 now I'm not suggesting you you take your items and you just add triangles like that this is just an example I would think of like what details you'd like to add and and here maybe we'll bevel with uh, three segments there you go and this last one let's because the sharper corner let's add five no four there you go so this is how our bench looks like now it's a little little more pleasing to look at so I will save this this is 2000 boom, 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 boom. Uh, 2000 perfect it's over 1500 so next one should be over 3000 so I'm going to save this as LOD1 and in this case I'm just gonna undo everything and I'm going to add much more segments to to make it um, into LOD zero and I think I need a lot more <laughs> than that so then select these edges and let's have eight maybe perfect and then this corner will do 10. So as you can see, it's much easier. It's pretty easy to add triangles, but it's hard to take them away. So if you have like a very complex structure and you're not fitting in, it's there's other methods, but okay. So this is our bench for LOD zero and without the building, it's like that. So we go five files save as LOD zero so now we have three files and each one will bake differently because separately because it, it has more faces sometimes it works out but it's better to, to do it like that so in my next video I'm going to uh, do the UV map and baking thank you